Need some coins for rookie premieres? Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm bringing you guys the best power-ups to do in Madden 19. Now before we begin the video I do want to say shout out to everyone that has been subscribing, liking, and commenting recently. It's been absolutely insane with the support. Honestly guys like I can't even describe how amazing the support has been recently. Like literally gained over like 2,000 subscribers in less than two weeks. That is absolutely insane to me. So thank you guys very much for that. And if you are not already subscribed, please do hit that sub button and turn the notification bell on so you guys get notified whenever I do upload another video. But with that being said, I do have a couple things to go over before I do get into this. Now, of course. I don't think I did any offensive linemen. Actually, I'm pretty positive I did not do any O-linemen at all for this. Uh, so, offensive linemen, kind of hard to predict. Also, the fact they don't really get a ton of cards. Uh, they do get football outsiders, maybe a couple different promos, but those are kind of hard to predict. So, essentially, what I did is I went through every single team, and I tried to pick out the best players that I think will have the best seasons, as well as, you know, cards that you might have. And I tried to make this to where it would just be one player per team so you wouldn't see two players from the same team so if i went through a team and i saw two players i made a decision and i picked only one now there is only one time in this video you will see two players from the same team and the reason for that i will get into that later but it does make pretty perfect sense as to why you should do these two players from the team and at least one of them you 110 percent should but with that being said, I also tried to keep it to one or two people per position, except for receivers and running backs. So there's a couple more than two of those. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into the best power-up players to a man 19. And of course, number one is David Johnson. Of course, David Johnson, I think he's going to have a great comeback season this year. A uh, possible comeback player, comeback player of the year. We don't know if Rosen or Bradford is starting. I'm pretty sure that... Bradford is in fact going to be the starter and of course still have Larry Fitz so David Johnson should have a nice little comeback here and I believe he, he doesn't have the highest overall muck card I believe he's an 85 or 86 if I'm right with that so it really doesn't cost that much training of course it is going to cost a decent amount of training of course but not as much as it would cost to get like a Tom Brady powered up right off the bat so if you want to power up David Johnson right off the bat you can do that but essentially I went through picked up teams and you know went through the players and who I think is going to get the most you know upgrades throughout the year so david johnson number one next up is the first receiver and of course it's julio jones now we do have calvin ridley uh in madden 19 of course but he did actually just suffer from a knee injury uh, today so i don't know how exactly he's gonna play this year as a rookie which unfortunately i did do his rookie premiere but you already know julio jones he always has that one game a year where he goes off for like 200 yards and three touchdowns and I feel like Julio Jones is going to have another great season this year. And of course, you want to do Julio's power up because he usually gets a team of the week. He'll get some type of a program. And usually the Falcons make the playoffs. So you're pretty much guaranteed to get a Falcons playoff Julio Jones like we did last year. So hopefully we get that again. Hopefully the Falcons do want to make the playoffs. We can get ourselves a Julio Jones to power up. Now next up is Luke Keekly. Now, this was pretty tough for the middle linebackers, honestly. I thought between Bobby Wagner, Deion Jones, and Luke Keekly. Now, of course, like I said before, I did only want to pick one player per team, so I went with Julio over Deion Jones, and I chose Keekly for the middle linebacker. Of course, Keekly, he's always in contention for Defensive Player of the Year. This past year, he had a pretty good season again. Not his best season of all time, uh, but still, Keekly's like top two, top three linebacker every single year and he usually gets a team of the week last year he had a mud hero as well and you can definitely expect keekly to get a couple of different upgrades this year and of course keekly is just one of the best coverage linebackers in the game so if you don't like use your, to use your middle linebacker or you still can because keekly does have enough speed but really he's better if you don't use rim keekly in my opinion probably gonna be the best middle linebacker to power up now on to another running back is ezekiel elliott now yes i'm a cowboys fan some people may think this pick is a little biased I really don't think so. Eric Dickerson even said Zeke might just break his rushing record this year. Of course, we don't have Des Bryant at wide receiver number one, so we don't really have a true number one receiver. 
Will we turn to the running game some more? Absolutely. I feel like Zeke is probably going to rush for minimum, if he plays all 16 games, 1,500 yards. No doubt about it, in my personal opinion. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, of course, going to be getting a couple of Team of the Week heroes, hopefully one, uh, and a couple of Team of the Week items as well. And of course, you have some other programs that we do not know of exactly yet, but I'm sure Zeke will be involved in at least a couple of different programs. And... It's freaking Zeke. Literally, I played the Madden 19 beta, and Ezekiel Elliott, in my opinion, was the best running back that I used. It was between him and David Johnson in the beta. So both these guys, I know for a fact, play really, really good in Madden 19. Next up is Von Miller. Of course, Von Super Bowl MVP Von Miller. This man is an absolute tank. You guys already know how Von Miller rolls. And of course, with the addition of Bradley Chubb, I could definitely see that leading to even more sacks for Von Miller. If Bradley Chubb really shows up in the first couple of weeks, maybe he does take a couple of sacks away from Von, but then they really have to focus on both Von and Bradley Chubb, and I feel like it could be a big sack fest in Denver. And of course, still have a pretty good secondary. Of course, they don't have a keep to leave anymore, but they still do have Chris Harris, and I'm really hoping that Von Miller this year can really show out. And of course, Von Miller, always one of the fastest linebackers in the game. You got a power of Von Miller. Next up is the first quarterback, and it's going to be a possible comeback player of the year as well. Aaron Rodgers. Of course, this man is coming back, and I do believe they're working on a new extension for him with the Packers, so it could be pretty interesting to see what he's going to do there. Of course, they don't have Jordy Nelson anymore, but Devontae Adams definitely going to have to step it up, and it's Aaron Rodgers. The man's definitely going to get some type of an upgrade throughout the year. As long as he stays healthy, you can definitely expect him to get a couple upgrades, and he's always one of the most accurate quarterbacks in Men 19, and he just has enough speed to go ahead and maybe scramble for a first down. If you want to run a read option with Aaron Rodgers, it might not work out with a read option, but you can definitely give it a shot. Now, honestly, this was a pretty tough pick on the Jaguars, but there's so many beasts on that defensive side, and even on the offense, you still have uh, Fournette, which I really was tempted to go with, but... In terms of the Jaguars defense and the player that I think will get the most upgrades this year, I got to go with Jalen Ramsey. Of course, they do have AJ Boye, Calais Campbell, and Telvin Smith. I feel like Ramsey is obviously one of the best cards in the game. And right off the bat, he does have a team diamond, which you guys can get. And I believe you can power that card up. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that you'll probably be able to upgrade that. So with that being said, he already has a team diamond right off the bat. And then he'll be getting some other cards throughout the year. So Jalen Ramsey, of course, one of the best block sheds, hit power type cornerbacks, a very physical guy. And he definitely has the speed to match against top receivers too. And of course, speaking of speed, Tyreek Hill. Now, this pick, it could be a very, very good pick. This is kind of my biggest risk factor pick. Now, the only reason I'd say risk is because he is playing with Patrick Mahomes, who is a rookie or, you know, second year player, but he didn't really, he only played one game last year. So we really haven't seen much of him. With that being said, though, Tyreek Hill right off the bat of the game is the fastest receiver in the game. So you can go ahead and pick that card up. If you guys get to my level 12 or 13, I can't remember which one it is. If you buy the pack with points, you actually get yourself a Tyreek Hill. So you can go ahead and power him up right off the bat like that. And he'll be the fastest receiver in the game and he'll be on your team pretty dang quick. And then of course, if he gets a team of the week hero, he could only, you know, he could easily go off for 150 yards or have a kickoff return, a punt return, something like that. Tyreek Hill definitely has the opportunity to get a couple of upgrades this year. And he's always one of the fastest receivers in the game. Next up is Aaron Donald, and this was a really hard choice for me because, of course, they do have Sue, they have uh, Marcus Peters, and they have Todd Gurley, which was really hard to pick between them, but of course, Aaron Donald, probably the best defensive player in the NFL, in my opinion, so Donald's got to get a couple of cards. Now, this pick, he might not get the most upgrades all year, but when he does, Anthony Barr is easily in my opinion, probably the best user in Madden 19. Now, we do have Muttmaster Shazier, which you guys know is an absolute beast. But Anthony Barr, 6'5", always great speed, great catch, good jumping. Anthony Barr, if he gets a couple power-ups and you like to use your outside linebacker, maybe you want to even move him to inside linebacker, Anthony Barr is an absolute stud. Now, honestly, not much has to be said about this pick. It's Tom Brady for the Patriots. Of course, it was between him and Gronkowski. Can Gronk stay healthy? I don't know. So Tom Brady, of course, he's always going to be Tom Brady. He's going to have a great season. He's going to get some team of the weeks. He's going to have a 30 to 1 touchdown to interception ratio. Tom Brady's the pick of the Pats. 
Now for the Giants, there is Harrison. You could also go with Landon Collins, but personally, OBJ. Another person that could possibly get comeback player of the year, Odo Beckham Jr. With the addition of Barkley in the backfield, could OBJ see even more yards? Because they do have to focus on the run game this year, actually, if Barkley kind of shows up in the first couple games. And of course, OBJ, EA loves Odell, and they will give him some card this year, I guarantee it, with 99 spec catch. Now for the Raiders, I decided to go with Khalil Mack because obviously you want to have Aaron Donald on one side. Why not have Mack attack on the other, who of course is always in contention for Defensive Player of the Year. Again, Khalil Mack, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL, and of course in Madden, one of the fastest, and he can also drop back in coverage if you wanted to. Now these are going to be the last two power-ups, and this is where I'm going to be talking about the two players on one team. Now, of course, I had to go with Le'Veon Bell here for the Steelers because it's Le'Veon Bell. It's his final season with the Steelers, and I think they're going to run him to the ground. And, of course, they always feed Le'Veon Bell the ball anyway, so as long as he stays healthy, he can definitely expect to see a lot of upgrades. And the final power-up is Antonio Brown, and the reason I chose two Steelers for this is because if you guys pre-order Madden 19, either the GOAT Edition or the Standard Edition, you actually get yourself a free... 89 overall Antonio Brown, which I believe to be a, uh, NAT. So with that already being in your item binder, you can power him up without having to buy his base elite card. So if you guys do that, you can get an easy Antonio Brown powered up right off the bat. And then of course it's AB. He's probably going to lead the league in receiving yards again and get a bunch of different upgrades. But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe and comment. Let me know down below what players did I happen to miss out on. Also, let me know some offensive linemen to do because honestly, it was really hard to pick out. They don't really get the most upgrades and I feel like I would have just chose a bunch of Cowboys because I'm, you know, Cowboys offensive line. But if you guys are not already subscribed, please do hit that sub button and turn the notification bell on and make sure that it says all uploads because sometimes it won't be set to all uploads. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I will see you guys next time.